I want to share with you about, you know, the best hope in your life. What is your hope in your life? Think about that. Let's think about it together, okay? I want to share with you through the words of God. The you know, Bible says, in the day of Christ, when Jesus Christ appeared gloriously, it is called best hope of Jesus Christ, who is great God. But we don't know when Jesus Christ appeared in the air to take his bride to heaven, but Apostle Paul testified of times and seasons of a rapture season. And he just testified of uh, Ascension Thessalonian Church in Second Thessalonians chapter 2, saying, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit or nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sits in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. You know, Pastor Paul just saying, when the time of rapture, two kind of things will happen. First one is falling away of the churches. Not only churches, but also the world. Falling away means falling away from God, falling away from Christ Jesus, and falling away as the words of God. And men of sin and son of perdition, it means is Antichrist. Antichrist. Apostle Paul, before he uh, departed the world, okay, he just, he just charged his uh, spiritual son, to Timothy. He said, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing. At his appearing means in a time of rapture, appearing in his kingdom, kingdom is millennial kingdom of Jesus Christ. Out of us, I preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, reprove rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. I don't know whether you know the falling away churches already happened a long time ago. To examine whether the churches of God is fall away, fell away from God a long time ago, we can I listen to the, the words of prophet, such as Isaiah and Jeremiah, and also Ezekiel. When I read, you know, what they rebuked the people of Israel to let them know how much they fall away from Jehovah God. When I read that, you shall understand, oh yes, exactly the same. Same things happen, happening the Church of God these days. Yeah, Prophet Isaiah rebuked you know, the Israel people, saying that, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel does not know. My people does not consider a sinful nation 
of people laden with iniquity, or see the evildoers and children that are corruptors, they that have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel with anger, they are gone away, backward. Why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint. He continues to say this, From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and petrifying sores, they have not been closed neither bound up, neither mollified with the ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence, and it is desolate, as overthrown by strangers. He also rebuked the people of Israel. You are just like a Sodom and Gomorrah. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. What about church in these days? Give ear unto the law of our God, you people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitudes of your sacrifices? Unto me, says the Lord. I am full of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fat beasts, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of goats. When you come to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand to tread my courts? He says, my court means uh, my church, right? Same thing. Bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and Sabbaths, the calling of assemblies, I cannot avoid with. It is iniquity. Even the solemn meeting, your new moons and your appointed feast, my soul hated. They are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. And when you spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yeah. When you make many prayers, I will not hear. Yeah, people of Korean, Korean people is famous to pray long, to a lot prayer, right? Think about that. God is saying, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yeah, when you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. He also rebuked, you know, the pastors, pastors of Israel. All you beasts of the field come to devour. Yeah, all you beasts in the forest. His watchmen, and watchmen means this is a pastor, right? Shepherd. Watchmen are blind and they are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs that cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds they cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain from his quarter. Come you, say they, I will fetch wine. How much, how much wine is you know, drink, drunk by these days? Church leaders. And tomorrow shall be as this day, and much more abundant. Not only Isaiah, but also Jeremiah, okay? He just warned the people of Israel. You continue to sin, something will happen. Attacked by Babylon, right? He said, the priests has said not. This the priest is, you know, the pastors, right? Priest said not. Where is the Lord? And they that handled the law knew me not. 
the pastors also transgressed against me, and the prophets prophesied by Baal, not by Holy Spirit, you know, by Baal, and walked after things that do not profit. The prophet prophecy falsely. How many prophets, so called, they are saying, I'm prophet, right, in the church of God, right? Yeah, the prophets for prophecy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means, and my people love to have it so. And what will you do in the end thereof? For well, from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, everyone is given to covetousness. And from the prophet, even unto the priest, everyone dealeth falsely. For both prophet and priest are profane, yeah, in my house have I found their wickedness, says the Lord. How much wickedness in the church of God these days? Think about that. And when these people, a prophet or a priest, shall ask thee, saying, What is the burden of the Lord? Thou shalt then say unto them, What burden? I will even forsake you, says the Lord. Yeah, it's a fearful voice of God, right? For this city has seen to me as a provocation of my anger and of my fury from the this from the day that they built it, even unto this day, that I should remove it from before my face. Because of all the evil of the children of Israel and of the children of Judah, which they have done to pro provoke me to anger, they, their kings, their princes, and their priests, and their prophets, and the men of Judah, and inhabitants of Jerusalem, everyone, right? From priest to prophet, all the men, totally, right? And they have turned unto me the back, and not the face, though I taught them, rising up early and teaching them, yet they have not hearkened to receive instruction. But they set their abomination in the house, which is called by my name, to defile it. Yeah, and thirdly, you know, a prophet is Ezekiel. Ezekiel, you know, prophesied um, in the land of Babylon, right? In the captivity. Wherefore, O harlot, even toward Israel, you are harlot, prostitute, right? Yeah. Apostle John also saw the big Babylon is, you know, whore, whoredom, hallowed, right? Spiritual one. Wherefore, hallowed, hear the word of the Lord. Thus say the Lord God, because thy filthiness was poured out, and thy nakedness discovered through thy whoredoms with thy lovers. Thy lovers means, you know, Babylon, Assyria, Egypt kind of kind of kingdom, you know, actually Israel people turn it back, you know, from God and they just you know, love them. That's why they love her. With all the idols of thy abominations and by the blood of thy children, which thou didst give unto them. Behold, therefore, I will gather all thy lovers with whom thou hast taken pleasure and all them that thou hast loved, with all them that thou hast hated. I will even gather them round about against thee, and will discover thy nakedness unto them, that they may see all thy nakedness, and I will judge thee as a woman that break wedlock and shed blood are judged, and I will give thee blood in fury and jealousy. As I live, says the Lord God, Sodom, thy, your, thy sister. What, what it means, God said to Israel, you are the sister of Sodom. 
That means you are exactly as, same as Sodom and Gomorrah, right? How God, how Jesus Christ, you know, speak to the modern churches these days, you, know, you can guess it. In the live, says the Lord God, Sodom thy sister has not done, she nor her daughters, as thou hast done, thou and thy daughters. Behold, this was iniquity of thy sister Sodom. God is saying the sin of Sodom is as follow, right? You know, people think a sin of Sodom is just, you know, uh, a kind of um, uh, homosexuality. No, it's not. It's not, it's not at all. Behold, this was iniquity of thy sister Sodom. Pride. What's from pride? Full is a breath. That's so rich, right? An abundance of idleness was in her and in her daughters. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. And they were haughty and committed abomination. Yeah, the commit abomination is, you know, just at the means, you know, homosexual, okay? Yeah. Committed abomination before me. Therefore, I took them away as I saw good. That's why God, you know, pour uh, fire and brimstone, right, to Sodom and Gomorrah, right? To make all the cities, you know, as. History has proved this, right? Everybody knows that. Even non-Christians know about that. Now, the words of the Lord God that who rebuked uh, falling away, away Israel through the prophets and in the word of the Lord Jesus Christ cast out of the church. Now Jesus Christ, you know, cast out of the church. You know, he just stand at the door outside, right? He rebuked the church of clearly how, show how apostasy falling away of the churches of today. Yeah, you know this well, right? He spoke to the church of Laodicean, right? Our Lord Jesus Christ still speaking to the churches these days. And unto the angel of the church of Laodiceans, write these things, says the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So, then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spoo thee out of my mouth. That means I want to spoo the church of God these days out of my mouth. Do you understand what it means, right? Because thou says, I'm rich. How much rich in modern churches these days? I'm rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. And knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire that thou mayst be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayst be clothed, and that shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Anoint thine eyes with thyself, that thou mayst see as many as I love. I rebuke and chasten. Be jealous, therefore, and repent. Yeah, our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, speaking to the churches, he says, repent, repent. You must know what you have to repent of what. If you don't know, you're totally blind, you're dumb, you know. All right. Behold, I stand at the door. That means what? No more, no more Jesus Christ in the church these days. Almost all churches. And knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, 
I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me to him that overcomes. Will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne? He that hate, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. You think you have ears to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. Then we are so blessed, okay? If not, why you cannot hear the voice of the Lord, voice of the Holy Spirit? Because you cannot hear and you cannot see him. You're blind and, and deaf and dumb, you know, unfortunately. I, I hate to say this to you, but I hope you are not such kind of people. That's why right. today is the day of grace and salvation. Very simple. God always wants Israel or churches these days, this one thing. Just repent. That's it. Make a U-turn, okay? He never asked ask your sin in the past, okay? That's, that means God is love, okay? Love means whosoever repent. You remember, you know, one, one very, you know, kind of radical man? The theft is crucified with Jesus Christ on the cross. A whole life he was in you know, a sinful life, but when he said, Lord, remember me when thy kingdom come. Truly, truly, I say unto you, you shall be with me in paradise today. That's the Lord Jesus, okay? That's the Lord Jesus. Don't misunderstand who Jesus Christ is, what kind of, what kind of God of Jesus Christ. Yeah. The churches these days, almost all churches, I think 99% of churches, you know, not only Korean, Korean, you know, America, all over the world, have joined with WCC and WEA together with Roman Catholic. That is religious whore, religious prostitute. Why? Because they forsaken Jesus Christ. They join with Babylon, religion of Babylon. That's why they call whore. A guilty of the sins of ancient Israel's association with Gentile nations, such as Babylon, Assyria, Egypt, and so on, to commit spiritual adultery. The churches that have forsaken the Lord Jesus Christ the one and only Christ. You remember Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. That means what? Only me, nobody else, right? What is WCC, WEA? They recognize other religions, you know, can have salvation. Oh, it makes sense at all, right? But unfortunately, almost churches joined WCC, WEA, in Korea, NCCK, you know, they don't know what they're doing. A very young sister, you know, asked his, his pastor, you know, the pastor of the Korean church is the head of the Korean WCC. Why you belong to WCC? He said to her, oh, I believe in Jesus too. That is <laughs> ridiculous. That's the pastor? He is, must be, you know, blind and dumb and deaf. He doesn't know. He has spent eternity not in heaven, but in everlasting fire, unfortunately. Unfortunately. You know, after rapture, all of them has passed through great tribulation. They're going to worship the idol of Antichrist and receive the mark of beast and suffer in the lake of fire forever and ever. You know, Apostle John testified that only those who believe to receive only one Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, can be born again by the Holy Spirit, then can go to be raptured 
and meet the Lord in glory in the day of Christ. 1 John chapter 5, 1. Whosoever believes that Jesus is the Christ. That means what? Only one. Only Jesus is Christ. Is begotten of God. And whosoever loveth him, begotten loves him who is begotten of him. Nobody else. Because Jesus is the way and the truth and life. Don't forget that the means only one, okay? Why we call the sun in sky? Why call the moon in sky? Because there are only one sun, only one moon, right? That's right, the sun, the moon. Yeah, we just, you know, learn in English class in high, in high school, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I bless all of you to understand what's going on in the modern churches. Okay, comparing the message to Israel by the prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel. I bless all of you to receive the grace and kindness of Lord Jesus Christ. Even today, if you accept yourself as a sinner, you kneel down, I repent my sins, our sinners. I have not really Receive the Lord Jesus Christ surely in my heart. I'm sp speaking to you. You, you, are, you are church members? Yeah. I'm also speaking to your church members, okay? You truly believe in Lord Jesus Christ in your heart totally? If not, it's the time for you to confess, I'm a miserable sinner. I now believe in Lord Jesus Christ because you died for my sins according to the scriptures and were buried and rose again the third day. I believe in you, Christ Jesus. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. You give me Holy Spirit to give me eternal life, to spend my eternity in heaven with you forever in New Jerusalem. God bless all of you. Amen.